Today is day two of 30, sharing information that you should know if you've been told that you have fatty liver disease or cirrhosis. Let's talk liver disease statistics. The number one cause of cirrhosis in the United States is NASH or non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which has actually recently been named to metabolic dysfunction associated steatotic liver disease or MASLD. People usually think that alcohol or hepatitis C is the number one cause of cirrhosis in the United States, but in the past handful of years, the trend has become that MASLD is now the number one cause of cirrhosis. However, even though MASLD is the number one reason for cirrhosis, it's not the number one reason for someone requiring a liver transplant. Alcohol is the number one reason for that. So why the discrepancy in those ratios, you may ask? It's because patients with MASLD are more likely to be deemed too sick for transplant because of comorbid conditions such as heart failure, diabetes, peripheral artery disease, and coronary artery disease. Or it's because patients with MASLD die from conditions like a heart attack or a stroke or diabetes complications before they ever get sick enough from cirrhosis to require a liver transplant. So be mindful of this. Perhaps your doctor told you that early steatosis or early fatty liver disease isn't that big of a deal, but what is the big deal are all those conditions that go hand in hand with it. Eating more fruits and vegetables, lean protein, and more fiber in your diet helps across the board with conditions like fatty liver disease, diabetes, and heart disease. Hit the like and follow button if you want to hear tomorrow's tidbit of nutrition and liver disease information.